Today, we're going to demonstrate how to set up the Gilson HM345 Super Air Meter to perform an air content and SAM number test. To determine the air content of concrete mixture takes multiple steps. After setting up the digital controller gauge, the concrete is pressurized at 14.5, 30, and 45 psi. The pressure is then released and the same pressure steps are used again. The difference between the first and second series of pressure steps are used to calculate the SAM number. To begin, turn on the gauge and open the pressure relief valve and release any pressure in the unit. Be sure to close the valve. Check to see if the gauge is at 0 psi. If the gauge is within 0 plus or minus 0 0.03 psi, then the super air meter is ready. If not, then use a long press of the menu button and then hit the 0 button. Now, press and hold the menu button until the test, calibrate, reset, light menu items appear. Press the menu button and scroll through the items to test. Then press enter. Now SAM or type B will be flashing. Press the menu button until SAM is flashing. Then press enter again. Done will now appear on the display, which indicates that you are ready to start a SAM test. For purpose of this test, we are using water in place of concrete. Now fill the base with concrete. Next, using two opposing clamps at a time, secure the lid assembly onto the base. Continue until all six clamps are secured. Next, open both petcocks so that water can enter and exit the unit freely without trapping air. Fill a syringe with water and place the end of the syringe into one petcock. Continue adding water until the water flows out the opposite petcock. Now close both petcocks. Next, use the pump on top of the meter to pressurize the unit to 14.5 psi. Give the gauge a moment to stabilize. The pressure in the unit can be adjusted by turning the large air pressure release valve slowly until the correct pressure of 14.5 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Be sure to tighten the release valve. Once the pressure in the unit is stable, press enter. The gauge will now automatically check the pressure. If too high or too low, an error message, high or low, will be displayed. If the pressure is within limits, then an OK will appear on the display. Press down on the lever, strike the side of the chamber with a rubber mallet, and press Enter while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. There will be a 10 second countdown on the display. After the display is done flashing read and then displays OK, release the lever. Push Enter to view the air content. Now push Enter again to continue the test. Next, use the pump to pressurize the unit to 30 psi. Adjust the pressure by using the release valve until 30 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Now press enter. If the pressure is within the limit, an OK will appear on the display. If too high or too low, an error message, high or low, will be displayed. Press down on the lever Strike the side of the chamber with a rubber mallet and press enter while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. 
Release the lever after the gauge is done flashing read and then displays OK. Next, pump the unit until it's pressurized to 45 psi. Adjust the pressure by using the release valve until 45 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Now press enter. If pressure is within the limit, an OK will appear on the display. Press down on the lever, strike the side of the chamber with a rubber mallet, and press enter while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. Release the lever after the display is done flashing read and then displays OK. Now the display will show purge, then rerun. Open one of the petcock valves while covering it with your hand to slowly relieve the pressure within the base. The display should indicate that the unit should be at 14.5 psi or below, but not zero. Now open both petcocks and fill with water until water flows out the opposite petcock. Close both petcocks and press enter. Next, pump the unit to 14.5 psi. Give the gauge a moment to stabilize. Adjust the pressure by turning the release valve slowly until 14.5 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Once the PSI is stable, press Enter. If pressure is within the limit, then OK will appear on the display. Press down on the lever, strike the sides of the chamber with a rubber mallet, and press Enter while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. Release the lever after the display is done flashing read, and then shows OK. Again, pump the unit until it is pressurized to 30 psi. Adjust the pressure by using the release valve until 30 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Now press Enter. If the pressure is within the limit, an OK will appear on the display. Press down on the lever. Strike the side of the chamber with a rubber mallet and press enter while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. Release the lever after the gauge is done displaying read and then displays OK. Again, pump the unit until it is pressurized to 45 psi. Adjust the pressure by using the release valve until 45 plus or minus 0 0.05 psi is maintained. Now press enter. If the pressure is within the limit, an OK will appear on the display. Press down on the lever, strike the side of the chamber with the rubber mallet, and press the enter button while continuing to hold down the lever for 10 seconds. Release the lever after the gauge is done flashing read and now displays OK. Now press Enter to view the SAM number and air volume and to complete the test. Now that the test has been completed, it is important to release the pressure within the unit before taking the HM345 apart for cleaning and storage. Open one of the petcock valves while covering it with your hand to slowly relieve the pressure in the bottom chamber. For any questions concerning the Gilson HM345 Super Air Meter or for any other Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.